Top of the morning to Buena and Ben. And I'm William. Do you guys remember this classic book fair? Last week and this week they're at Buena. They were selling many books, toys, and candy. Buena, are you excited? Yes, because we're silo ball today. The times <coughs> are from 7 to 11. Bring your tickets and have some fun. We hope to see you there. You guys going to Cyberball? Oh, for sure. It's going to be a good fair. Hey William, have you heard about the Yes Fair? Yes. The Yes Fair is a very exciting opportunity for elementary, junior high and high school students in southeastern Arizona to do a science and engineering project and display it in competition. Yes stands for Youth, Science and Engineering. This competition happened in Wensmere this week. SSVC Sulphur Springs Valley Electric Company Cooperative and uh, its partners and its its distributors uh, and uh, producers all do a remarkable job of backing that thing up. And then you've got incredible uh, community support from the military community, from from the contractor community. And so that that's the most obvious that there's scholarship money. But beyond that is there's several opportunities that aren't used very much. One of the ones that I think is undervalued is Intel also does internships out of this and so this is a qualifier for those internships and what I mean by that is the kid has a project and they take it in they compete it in that division in that research area and they can get college professors to come on, sign on, be their mentors. So a kid goes to college for free uh, based on research they started in high school. And that to me is extremely exciting besides just, you know, here's the science and engineering I'm interested in. Students set up their project displays on Tuesday, the judging happens on Wednesday, and the awards ceremony happened on Thursday while one deserving winner will win a trip to the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair. How exciting! That's cool, William. On a different note, did you hear about the motorcycle tribute this week at Buena? I don't think so. Last Friday, a military motorcycle show took place in the Buena Performing Arts Center. Five motorcycles, each representing a different branch of the military, were presented on stage. Jay Allen shared his story and his journey on how he collected these tribute bikes and shares them around the U.S. And the story goes back to the beginning of our country, and these bikes represent what our, what our veterans have done to give us these freedoms today. And that's what these bikes do. I take them out to our veterans' homes, hospitals, and to our troops, and I, I definitely think the students are, are more inspired and start to understand what patriotism is really all about. Jay Allen explains how he gets motivation to do these shows. Oh, I got to tell you, you kids inspire me. You are our future, but you also keep me young at heart because I look through your eyes at these bikes and especially the ones of you that these bikes touch. You get it. You're looking at the fabrication. I mean, I guarantee you today when this day is done, there's a few of you, they're going to say, I want to build motorcycles. That's a cool thing. Each student liked something different about the show. Probably the Air Force, mainly because I want to join the Air Force. If you miss the show this year, you can always catch it next year. Contact the bike creators to learn more. The Buena Star Ball is going to be held next Friday, February 24th from 7 to 11 p.m. Tickets are $5 for students with top 30 and $10 for their IDs. Well, that's all for this week's episode of Buena TV. I'm Ben. And I'm William. Thanks See you for next week day. Weekday. Bueno.